I heard someone explain that this topic is kind of about uh, learning some sort of way of differentiating in the quote unquote long way and then learning a shortcut method. Is that how you guys feel? Yeah. yeah? And I said that there was a really important reason why we do that. What did I say the important reason was for it? Yeah, yeah, okay. And I, and I think understanding to a certain point, we need that to get a better idea of what's going on. Because when students say, oh, I'm confused, right? A lot of the reason is because they don't really have purpose to what they're really doing. Um, with this rule, the product rule, let's see. With this rule, the product rule here, okay, I am going to present to you a formulaic way of looking at this, okay? Um, let's talk about differentiating. We've differentiated a function like this before. How did we do that? What did we have to do first? I, I, anyway, you can use the chain rule, the function of a function rule. What else have we learned? We've learned we can expand it out and do that. Actually, another way to do this. What's another way you can think of x plus 1 all squared? We can expand it out. We can, yeah, we can have, to, or we can have two brackets. Right? x plus 1 all squared is x plus 1 times x plus 1. But there was a problem with differentiating things in this form. Right? I said that we can't differentiate things when I have the product of two functions. Right? That was something that we didn't have the tools available to do. But now we do. And the product rule allows you to differentiate two functions. If you have the function that looks like this, y equals to uv, so u times v. Right? We can find the derivative, right, y dash, by using this formula. u dash plus uv dash. Can you jot that down for me? Yeah. How does that work? Great question. I want to show you afterwards, because I actually think it's a very interesting proof. Now, um, I'm using this example because we've seen this example before. If you remember, we can use the chain rule to do this or function of function and we get 2x plus 2. Let's just verify that that works with this one, right? So what does it mean when I have the u plus uv dash? Why, sorry, u dash plus uv dash. Um, what does it mean when I have this, right? Well, we actually need to lay out our solutions in a particular way, okay? Here's our function, y equals to x plus 1, x plus 1. So what I say is I say we're introducing new variables. So anytime I do that, I have to say, all right, we let u equal to one of our functions, in this case, one of them is x plus 1. And we also let u v equal to the other one, so x plus 1 there. We have a few components that we need, though. We've got v and u there. What are we missing? We need the derivatives of those respective parts. Right? So we can just do that. u dash is equal to 1. We take the derivative there. v dash also equal to 1. Right? If we take the derivative of those um, x's of 1 power, they just become 1 those constants, they're just going to go away and become zero. Right? Let's put that all together. Let's see if we get the same thing of what we expect. So y dash is equal to v u dash plus u v dash. And the reason why I've written that like this is because you're going to have all these components together. And when you have all the pieces here, very easy to put them together, right? When I have v u dash, I'm saying, all right, let's take this section and this section. What are we doing here? We're just multiplying that, right? I'll have x plus 1, oh, don't know why that wasn't like, x plus 1, I'm actually going to literally write, okay, we're multiplying that by 1, and uv dash, yeah, I'm doing x plus 1 times 1 as well. Okay. And lo and behold, if you expand this all out, what do we get? 2x, yeah, 2x plus 2, which is what we got before. Right, so we know that this product rule is something which can work for us. And the great thing about this is when we're thinking about multiplying functions, we can multiply much more complex functions now. Let me give you another example. So the key with using the product rule is you're always thinking, hey, what are the two functions that I've got? What are my two functions here? I want to try and see where can I see two functions being multiplied. So I'm having a look at this one here. I've got y is equal to this expression. That's one expression. That's one function. But can I see within there, are there two functions being multiplied together? Yeah. Yeah. What are they, Matt? Yeah. X cubed and x minus 2. That's right, James. Right. So we say, again, same idea. We let 
I think I'm running out of ink here. Let's use this guy. We let u equal to one of them, say x cubed. We let v equal to the other one, x minus 2. Question I frequently get is, does it matter which one you pick is which? A question I frequently get is, does it matter whether I pick u or v as one or the other? That's something that's always asked. No, right? it, it shouldn't matter. Why? You can actually try it. Try do it another way and verify this, right? Um, they give you a standard form. They say, oh yeah, we're multiplying u and v together, and we, we take the derivative using this product rule, right? Try it the other way, see if you get the same thing, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter which one you choose is which, okay? So just to you know, avoid any confusion there. Um, I still want you just the first couple of times we're doing this, just to write out like I'm doing here, right? We've got u and we've got v. We're taking the derivatives of those parts respectively. So u dash, what would that be either if I take u dash for this one? Very x squared, awesome. And then v dash, all right, taking the derivative of this, we know that. That's just going to be one. That constant goes away. Let's put these parts together now. Y dash is equal to the U dash. So 3x squared outside of x minus 2 plus UV dash, which is well, x cubed times 1, x cubed. How do we like that? Are you happy with that one? Um, we, could, we could expand it out. Yeah, let's try that. So let's expand this one out. We get 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus x cubed. Anything else we can simplify? No. No? <laughs> We've got some x cubed terms there that we can bring together. Okay. So there's, there's our um, product rule there. Right? We can multiply any two functions together. 